and be prosecuted and sued. Um, what's up, Sing Six Banger Conspiracy Media? Yeah, I'm gonna. I've already paid a call to the uh, local troop, who I know that the marshals inside are going to attempt to call and file a false police report on me, making claims that I'm creating a disturbance or that I can't film. But he will be creating a disturbance again. This is the same guy. This is the guy who had his kid taken away. He's the guy that filmed the cops as they were coming to take the kid and kept refusing even though there was a court order he's obnoxious and again his name is tyrant slayer <laughs> but uh we know what the law says and uh unless there is a signed order by the judge that restricts access from filming in publicly accessible areas of this courthouse uh then our first amendment absolutely affords us every right and protection I imagine there probably are. A lot of courthouses absolutely have rules against filming inside of them. What are you talking about? That's a pretty common rule inside American courthouses. I'm not saying it's universal, but a lot of the time, yeah, you're not allowed to film to protect the identities of defendants and witnesses and all sorts of things within the court. Not to mention all the legal documents that are around that you could potentially be filming or trying to get video of, whatever. Courthouses often have rules against filming. That's not uncommon. But again, I don't know about the jurisdiction here. Blackwing Hackety says, more Connecticut. Text are right. Uh, to film our public servants, including the marshals, in the course of their public duties on behalf... That's actually, look, Tolland, Tolland County, Connecticut, filming in court. Let's see. T with Goblin says, I find this kind of thing so infuriating because he's getting so wound up over trivialities like being able to film in public employee because he genuinely seems to believe that this is the ultimate exemplar of an oppressive state and not, you know, black teenagers being murdered by cops. The most solipsistic messiah complex ever. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, let's see. Uh, county. Court. Rules. See if we can find anything about filming. This is definitely the right building. This is just directions how to get to the court. <sighs> filming. I'm not sure if I'll be able to find this online. Here we go. This might be it. Use and possession of electronic devices in superior court facilities. Um, the following guidelines are subject in all cases to a judge or other judicial authority issuing additional specific orders or guidelines for the use of electronic devices in his or her courtroom or hearing rooms. A person may have any of the following electronic devices, a cell phone, a camera phone, a personal computer with or without uh, video or audio recording capabilities, a digital tape audio recorder, a PDA, um, with or without video or audio recording capabilities, any other electronic device that can broadcast, record, or take photos, um, a handheld or portable scanner to reproduce court documents, a portable printer, a person may use a cell uh, may use a cell phone to make phone calls, send an email. Where's the Where's the prohibited? Here we go. Uh, a person is prohibited from using a cell phone or any other electronic device to take pictures except that a person may use a cell phone or other electronic device to photograph court records in a clerk's office as long as doing so does not unreasonably interfere with the operations of the clerk's office take videos make sound recordings broadcast sound broadcast still moving images so it is explicitly disallowed in this courtroom's jurisdiction to film you are not allowed to go in here and film we just read the rules <laughs> you're not allowed to film here isn't it amazing that we live in an age that I can find the court rules for a specific county in Connecticut? The internet's amazing. Apparently this guy didn't want to learn the rules, though. <laughs> Half of the people. So uh, I put the uh, state police on notice, told them that they can expect to call from the marshals when I try to enter the building. Yep, that's... Oh, that's good. That doesn't make you sound like a whack job at all. Sorry, the captions keep changing size on me. Right. They are going to lose their qualified immunity and they are going to be sued and they're going to be paying for the damages they've done to my daughter's life, my, my son's, my three, four son's lives, and, and my life and that of my... The daughter that you got taken away? Hmm. My, my wife's life. Uh, and we're going to hold the police and marshals responsible involved in this giant nightmare as well. But uh, our business...
I'm putting you on notice on the bingo card, if that's a thing, yeah. Here today is, uh, this is a First Amendment audit here at the Tallinn County Courthouse, in which I am going to be inspecting records relevant to my family court case. Uh, these records have been obstructed, and my access to them has been restricted over and over and over and over again, uh, which has uh, uh, reduced my ability to self-represent and um, make progress in my family court case uh, down to next to nothing. Um, it's totally unacceptable. Blackwing Hackett, says Connecticut is a single party consent state. That means only one person has to consent to filming, so you can film anyone. Yes, but within this courtroom, it's still disallowed from filming. Or within this courthouse, rather. Bull, and uh, it's causing great harm and great suffering and trauma uh, to my daughter and her life. And uh, we're here today to go ahead and create record of what happens when I go into... Uh, this would be holding you personally accountable, putting you on notices and quotes. Okay, My courthouse and uh, try to acquire the records that uh, I should have already had months ago. No cannabis, marijuana allowed inside the courthouse is <laughs> very clearly posted. <laughs> so let's see how this goes here today. I think that something like that might have been posted at the courthouse in my, the city I, I got my name changed into where I used to live. Is there a big issue with people bringing weed into courthouses? I get it's legal, but like, <laughs> leave it in the car. What are you doing? Leave it at home. Why are you bringing weed with you? Bring our bike inside. I'll turn it Slayer Studios Mobile One. See if this guy will hold the door for me. Hey, do you mind holding this door for me? I can't? No. Why not? <laughs> That's a new one. I have the First Amendment right to bring my bicycle into the courthouse. It's worth like $2,500. It's not safe outside. Is there, is there like a, a reason? Have you heard of a bike lock? A bike lock? That might be a good investment for your $2,500 bike. Full reason why I can't. Blackwing Hackety says weed is legal, but there's no setup for recreational dispensaries yet. <laughs> bring my bike inside. PD lets me bring it in over there. I just left Town Hall. They let me bring it in over there. Okay, this is a different building. <laughs> you think all buildings are the same because they're all inside? There. I'll leave it here in the foyer, though. So here we are, off to a great start. We got more round number one and more round number two over here. <laughs> Why does he think he has a right to bring a bicycle into the courthouse? That's so fucking bizarre. H. Baird says, you know, cyclists do think they're the center of the universe. Rachelogy says, knowing degenerate America, the no weed notice is probably for the judges. At least that's what free thinking independent news sources tell me. Let's see. Do I think he rides a bike because he has his driver's license revoked? I have no idea. Let's see. What these morons want to do here with me? So, let's uh, go conduct our business. This won't make it through. They're going to immediately tell you not to film. It's against the rules. Funny how he thinks his rights trump all others. A lot of them are like that. Through the metal detector. I can. It's my First Amendment right. No, it's not. No, it's not. You are not the press. You are not the press, sir. And even if you were, there are still places that are restricted from the press from filming. In courtroom situations, in courthouse situations, there are absolutely places in court that you cannot film, even if you are the news. Hydrate. Will do. Unless there's a signed order by the judge that prohibits access to publicly accessible areas in recording. I've already called the state police, so if you want to call them, you can. They're going to tell you the same thing. We've been through this already. You need a mask to be in the building? Oh, I have a mask. It's right here. Yeah, I got a mask. I'll let you violate that, right? You're going to pay for it. But uh, I did call state police, and right, they are aware we're call of what I'm doing here. Is this a police station? If so, let's not defend the pig's hand. This is a courthouse. This is a courthouse. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. And I can disagree with the general problems in policing in America without 
also biasing myself towards agreeing with idiots like this. And First Amendment says they can, and if you're going to try to stop me... Yeah, anti-masker on the bingo card. You're gonna have a serious problem. Recording our public officials in the course oh, of their official duties in public is the First Amendment protected activity. It's protected by the Constitution of the United States. So unless there's a signed order from a judge that is housed in this courtroom that restricts access to publicly accessible areas and the recording of our public servants in those areas, and it's if there's no signed order by a judge that restricts that, then I have full free range to walk into any publicly accessible area of this courthouse and film my officials in the course of their official duties. That's what the Considering it's officially on their website that they're not allowed to film in there, I would imagine it was a signed judge order by whoever is in charge of the rules of this court. <laughs> Discordant Vol with 100 bits says, Nuance! The law says. If you guys want to challenge that, that's fine, but ultimately I'm going to end up coming inside. I'm going to be using your database and inspecting records today. I'm going to be asking the clerk some questions, and I'm going to create adjective record for the news story. Here you go, folks. We're live. Yeah. We got uh, Diaz, yeah. Sergeant Diaz over there. That doesn't look publicly accessible. It looks like a checkpoint. Yeah. We've got. Uh... How are you, sir? Fairly well. Sir, you're not allowed to film in here. I can't. No, I, I can't film. I've already talked sir? to state police. I've talked to an attorney. I know Step what my off. rights are. I, I, I'm well within my rights. I'm not doing anything illegal here. I'm just here to inspect some records today. I've already called state police. Let them know that I'm going to be here and that the marshals need to be educated on the law. <coughs> yeah, they know. I already called them before I came in here. We just make it easy. Just step outside. Say, get here. If they stay otherwise, then that's fine. But right now, you know you can't be in the building. But I'm trying to work with you. Just have a reasonable conversation with, with me. So, I know what the laws are. I'm well aware of what the laws are. It's much warmer in here. I'd rather you stand here. You, you hope he's dabbing while saying this? Okay. Would you like to come to the foyer and speak with me? You can't report inside the building. I'm uh, asking you nicely. Uh, I'm, I'm stepping out, but are you restricted? You gotta dab on the haters sometimes. What can I say? Lily Love Stuff says, wait, the First Amendment says you can record even though there was no recording when it was written? <laughs> In fairness, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and assume when he's talking about the Constitution, he's also talking about Supreme Court decisions that have interpreted the Constitution and the amendments, which does include being able to, for instance, film the police or public officials uh, in their line of duty or during their work. It just depends upon the context. If you're in a courthouse that has explicit rules against filming, that's not against your First Amendment, inherently my access here, Sergeant Diaz? As of right now, yes. Yeah, as here. of right now, yes, yeah. Because we need the state's police. We need state police permission to inspect public records and film in publicly accessible areas of our, of our... The funny thing is, the rules thing even said he can go use his phone to take pictures of records that he's pulling if he needs them. That's fine. You just can't walk into the courthouse filming. You can't film all along the courthouse. Um... Sanklev, or Sanklev, thank you for 200 bits. State? Oh, okay. Go ahead. You're in. No, I'm not blocking anything. Excuse me. Oh, I was talking Excuse to this. Me. I was talking to this gentleman. Just wait out there. Sorry. Well, I asked you a question. Just can you just wait out there? We'll be with. I am waiting out here. I was just asking you a question. Yeah. There you go. Connecticut's finest. Look at these monkeys. It's like they're not even people. They're robots. Malevolent drones. Sir. Or you're just a jerk. Roland Seven says, just have a reasonable conversation. Ah, he's the sea lion meme. Maps and Mimics, thanks for 14 months, says, feeling like crap tonight, so I'm happy for the stream to take my mind off feeling sick. As always, thanks for what you do. I'm sorry you're not feeling good. I hope you feel better soon. Sir, your rights don't matter here. Sir, sir, this isn't the United States. You don't have any rights here. I'm, I'm Sergeant Diaz. I'm in charge. <laughs> okay, we'll see how far this goes. We'll see how far it goes. Oh, I see. It's it's not just a bike. It's one of those electric bikes. Those do actually cost like $2,500. I've looked into them before. Lily Love Stuff says, why 
uh, why would he respect those rulings when he doesn't respect the Constitution, says states have the right to write laws the Constitution doesn't cover? Yeah, it, I don't think they've thought it through that hard. Those bikes do cost $2,500, though. I've literally looked at that exact model of bike. It has the rack on the back, so if you go get groceries or whatever, you can, like, put them on the back. They sell baskets and stuff for it. They're kind of cool. I do like those bikes. <laughs> now I am curious, though, if he has that bike specifically because he doesn't have a license or something. Because these bikes are electric. They they let you go, like, 20 miles an hour. Like, right below the... the it's basically the fastest you're illegally allowed to go before you need a driver's license to operate one. So I'm kind of curious <laughs> why he's using it. Who knows, though? So the objective here today, folks, is... Uh... If anyone's curious why, there was a time when my car was really broken. And I, I, I didn't want to deal with fixing it. And I was thinking about getting one of these. I don't know. I still think they're cool. I think they're neat. But not $2,500 neat for me. We are inspecting records relevant to my family court case, which those clerks in there have been obstructing for months. Wait until you see the emails I dump online for you guys to read. You got the, uh, the chief clerk. Uh, what is his name? The chief clerk, Big Fatty. He's forged his name forged his signature as someone else's signature in email correspondence to me. He's, he's corresponding to me in email with the name of a retired clerk and telling me why I'm not getting my records. <laughs> On June the 3rd, it came down to this courthouse to physically pick- Sankalev, thanks for gifting two tier one subs. Up the records that were prepared for me by the head custodian of records, uh, Sharon Rosado. She emailed me, told me that they were physically here, physically prepared, and ready to be picked up. So, what do we do? We come here. We go to physically pick up those records, and what do the lying clerks who are abusing their power and playing charades with the people say? Oh, there's nothing here for you to pick up. Nothing's been prepared. You haven't filled out any paperwork. The judge never even granted a, a waiver fee. <laughs> we don't have any of that on record. Well, they should, because all of that stuff happened. Is this seriously him being super pissed off the court didn't prepare documents correctly? Like, that sucks, and I've had that issue too. For instance, I, during my uh, legal name change, had to have fingerprinting done at the sheriff's office, which had to be sent to um, the courthouse and a copy to the FBI for a background check. Then the uh, files, the background check that was sent from the FBI to the courthouse, some documents got lost along the way. Courthouse document keeping is a big clusterfuck. Like, it sucked, and I was really upset at the time, but like, yeah, they're dealing with a lot of documents. Um, it's not good, but it happens. Things slip through the cracks, and you gotta deal with it like an adult, and not cry conspiracy every time someone loses documents that you're supposed to get. You're allowed to be frustrated. That's fine. It's frustrating, but acting like it's a conspiracy against you anytime something happens to you, that's not a healthy mentality or in line with reality. Tea with Goblin says there's a special place in hell for people who self-righteously consider themselves, quote, free thinkers and rebels, but then proceed to act as if nobody else in the world could possibly have any sort of agency. Uh, typically, people obey public safety rules because they're considerate, not because they're robots, you absolute muppet. And then Robert Morley, thanks for gifting 10 tier 1 subs to the community. Again, you're always so generous. Thank you so much. You like when I say wowzers. Wowzers. <laughs> and instead of giving me my records that day, they decided to call the Connecticut State Police on me. Gee, imagine that. So I'm just going to go inside and start recording as soon as the police come here who I've already called and put on notice. I will upload the static recording of the uh, phone call to Connecticut State Police. Yeah. So, here we go. Inconvening my life. This is uh, 69 Brooklyn Street. This is the Rockville Family Court. Nice. Courthouse. 
located on is robert morley secretly an oil baron nope lawyer on 69 brooklyn street in in vernon rockville connecticut. put on notice on bingo yep connecticut i don't know if they call it rockville or vernon but uh it's one of the two we're located at 69 brooklyn street speaking of which i did get your email uh robert morley i would be interested in having you on sometime to talk about this stuff because you are a lawyer so we'll set something up for the future and these egregious marshals are breaking our laws and violating my rights. Right? All right, so we're gonna let it pan out. We're gonna gain access to the building. We're going to put the clerks on notice and film them. We are going to use the computer database and obtain public record and uh, we're gonna file federal court cases at the Second Circuit Court in Connecticut <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's won zero of these cases that he's tried to bring against people so far just if we're keeping score the confidence level versus his success rate is just the ratio is insane ah uh, yeah you know these these idiots just need to be educated that's the problem here they need to be educated who did you vote for in the last election again ah yes i remember i've seen your hat we're 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 living amongst a bunch of idiots who think they have authority over our lives <laughs> there's one right there his name is diaz and there's his subservient onlooker who does nothing when her co-workers violate the rights of the citizens and break the laws. It makes her complicit in a crime. Complicit in a crime. So this courthouse is home to some of the most criminal judges in the state of Connecticut. The judges here, they don't even need a hearing or a statement, or a witness, or any sort of procedure to make rulings. They just make rulings out of thin air in this. Judges are allowed to make rulings. They're judges. It's in the name. Blackwing Hackety says, why are the so many D's in Edward Woodward's name? Because without them, he'd be Awar Wuwar, and that would be awful. Um, Lily Love Stuff says, I want the confidence of one of these white men. Like, if I had that confidence, I'd be unstoppable. See, it's a double-edged sword, though, because confidence is really good and it can help you succeed, but it can also make you an asshole. <laughs> and you don't want to be one of those. This courthouse. It's what they like to do best. And I'll tell you right now, uh... I'm not going to be waiting very much longer for the police before I go and just conduct my business. Oh, that'll go well. Yeah. I'll just walk in there and conduct my business anyway, because I know that I'm lawful in my actions. Incorrect. This guy's got no authority to stop me from lawful activities i mean he's a security guard at the courthouse pretty sure he does have the authority nobody does <laughs> nobody does all right They won't be judges very much longer. Judges can lose their immunity when they uh, operate outside of the procedural requirements, and that's exactly what these judges do. And how often has that happened, especially when concerning sovereign citizen frauditor types? Zero times? Blackwing Hecate says, what's the saying? To have the confidence of a mediocre white cishet man. Stone Corbell says, guess he's the king or something. Nick says, to quote Legal Eagle, the bailiff will tackle you. And Discordant Vol says, someone's getting a hold person spell. 
Uh, the case we have against them, uh, and that which we've been building throughout our investigations, is pretty much a slam dunk. Hey, I sincerely appreciate that, John Smith. You know, I got a big family, and uh, this is how I'm choosing to try and support it. Uh, so, I mean, <laughs> charitable donations are absolutely always uh, sincerely appreciated and accepted. Um, if anyone is interested in making a charitable donation, you can go ahead and do that at paypal.me forward slash tyrant slayer studios. Or you can PayPal me and it won't go towards crime. How many people are you screwing over today, buddy? Yeah, a lot of people in foster care are molested, and it's all facilitated by the state. Holy non sequitur, Batman, what? So let's see here. Hey, how much longer till the cops? In You're on their way. So just yeah, well, I mean, I got a lot of business. I got to rap with the mayor in a little while, and I can't be hanging around all day. Did you just say you have to rap with the mayor a little while? Is this a 1990s made for TV after school special? You gonna you gonna get up in your chair backwards and and connect with the kids? Come on kids, it's time to rap about fire safety. Robert Morley says his case is a slam dunk, but he's e-begging on YouTube and riding a bike to court in the winter. <laughs> while you guys violate my rights and I understand and yeah well if you understand then you would actually go get the law and read it and let me in the building but you don't understand yeah well they don't have much longer before i come in <laughs> mark my words pal yeah and if you Eddie touch Blue me I'll says here's some bits to put towards gay crime i'll be charged with assault yeah Abuse of power, deprivation of rights under the color of law title 18 section 242 Rainey, thanks for following court? by the way Yeah. Look at the arrogance. The big fat schlep thinks he knows it all. <laughs> what does the person's weight have to do with anything? Sir, this is a publicly accessible area, right? This is publicly accessible. You, you've been sitting here for like seven minutes. How are you this impatient already? Blackwing Hackety says, be trans, throw hands. Well, I'm not on the side so of the secure the thing. I'm asking you nicely. Just bear with us. They're on their way. You I'm bearing to... with you. I'll stand here. You have to wait outside. I'll stand. He cannot handle being instructed in any way, shape, or form. These people have oppositional defiant disorder, I swear. I'm here. I'm not, this I'm is not publicly listen. accessible. I'm not I'm breaking any law by standing yes, here. Yes, you are. You can ask You're me. You're the entranceway for everyone else to come in. You have to wait outside. I'll wait right here. Listen, you have to wait outside. I don't. This you is a public You asked me to work with you. I'm working right. with you. Right. So can you... we see eye to eye, just wait outside till we resolve this? What is the purpose of me waiting outside? Because you can't be in the building recording. Well, I want to record what you guys are saying about you, me. You wait, violate, we're not talking you about violate you. my rights by not, not listening to me, by stepping outside. Section 217, constitutional law. Please. That's not Thank a lawful you. order because I'm not doing anything unlawful. <laughs> I like that he even cited something and he was like, no. Mm. I didn't say it was a lawful order. Well, then I'm not violating your rights. It is. Step out. Come on, let's go. Please, please don't. Lady Necro says, hey, Hannah, why did the sovereign citizen cross the road? That's none of your business, and I'm free to travel on my way without being harassed. Am I being detained? Eh. Blackwing Hackety says he's just asking to be soul jarred. Let's go. We're asking you nicely. And I'm, and I'm nicely declining we're, your, we're your request. Nicely. You can wait all the way outside. You have your First Amendment right to report outside. I have my First we're Amendment. It applies in all publicly accessible Excuse areas. Me, Please don't touch me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse the me. First Amendment applies to... You're blocking to... my post, sir. Excuse oh, this is your post? Yep. Oh, okay. Well, Excuse me. Look at this, folks. Excuse look at this. You know you're live on the internet? This Excuse is, uh, me. What's your name? Excuse me. What's your name? My name is Timothy Riley. Excuse yes. Me. Tea with Goblin says, Sir, you can't film here, but I wanna... What's your name? Excuse me. Yeah, this is Diaz, and this is shit for brains. That's what we'll call him. What's your name, sir? You're going to let this guy assault me? That makes you complicit in a crime. Excuse me, sir. Are you going to allow this to continue, ma'am? Are you going to... He's fucking walking around acting like he's George Floyd with, like, a knee on his neck. No! You're just being asked to wait outside for five more minutes. Allow these guys to act this... 
Maps and Mimics says, I'm so glad my dumbass uncle can't work uh, Facebook live because he'd be doing this, probably while carrying a firearm if he could. Oh, that'd end well for him. Okay. So that makes you complicit in a crime. Yeah. Moo Moo Pagoda. Look at these guys. Look at them. How did you guys even get this job when you're so ignorant to the law? Is he wearing the MAGA hat during this too? I didn't see in the reflection. Yeah. We're not, not that he's not allowed to wear it. I just think it'd be funny that he constantly goes around and proves every negative stereotype about Trump supporters right at every turn. Backing down off of this. We're getting the records that prove that this courthouse is breaking the law. And they can call the police and restrict my access all they want, but it's going to happen. Anarchist Weasel, thanks for following. <laughs> he thinks he's intimidating. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> These people are out of control. This is what tyranny looks like. You're blocked. If this is what you think tyranny looks like, you have lived the easiest life you could possibly live. Taking my post. Hey, please go wait in the, in the, oh god, what's that called? The part between, like, the, the actual front entrance and the actual building? Go wait in the, that area. This is tyranny! <laughs> Vestibule? Foyer? I don't know. Those, those don't sound right. Annex? I don't know. Let's call it an annex. Hey, you're not in your post. Where's that guy? Hey, where's our guard for his post? He's not at his post. Is he AWOL? Yeah, just close the door. I'll stand wherever I want in public. Thank you. I'm fine here. <laughs> What's up, Soy? New England Truth. Ex Donator. Mizanja. <laughs> Trans Vestibule. Von mm. Badman. Fuck the SS. Nathaniel Marginal. Steinborn, Mass Citizen. Free me, free me. Seth Black. Thank you everybody for being here. Please smash that like button for me. Share the link to this video. Um, let all your friends and family know about the, uh, the, the prevalent presence of tyranny here at uh, 69 Brooklyn Street. Nice. The uh, Rockville Family Courthouse. You've got, I think I counted four completely ignorant, uneducated, unintelligent stooges of the state here. No updates on Glenn. No. Glenn Serio, the frauditor guy who got arrested. No. I haven't heard anything. Blackwing Hackety says, I think it's technically a vestibule, but I call them airlocks. <laughs> Tea with Goblin says, is the trans vestibule the specialized med bed for trans non-binary folks? I wish. Go in it and it just makes your body whatever you want it to be. <laughs> doing absolutely nothing except violating people's rights. How does it make you feel? This is where your hard-earned tax dollars are going. To that, right there. Look at them, standing there doing nothing all day long. <laughs> Losers. Projection. Nick says, he's at a family courthouse. Does that mean family court? Because if so, holy shit, this could get so yikes. Yeah, I, I think he's at a family court. This is probably something in relation to his kid. I know he, he was in a custody dispute for a while. Eventually, he had his kid taken away and uh, given to the mother. Um, so, I, I don't know what point in time this is. I'm guessing it has something to do with that. Losers. Oh, sir, you can't come in unless the police tell tell us it's okay. Oh, the police are your lawyers? The police know the law? You think the police know what the laws are? Do you think the police know the Constitution? <laughs> um, Blackwing Hackety says, so they're losers because you're jealous of their cushy government job. Got it. That stubborn thing they take that stubborn oath to? Do you think the Connecticut State Police know what it means and what it says and how to uphold their oath? We're going to find out here at Tyrant Slayer Studios today. 
Roy Smith. Yeah, that's the that's the uh, the pimp Mac Daddy's name there. Roy Smith, Chief Clerk. Did he just say pimp Mac Daddy? <sighs> Chief Master Forger and Operator of Illegal Activities here at 69 Brooklyn Street, Rockville, Connecticut. Chief Tubbs, Roy Smith. Tubby, that's what we're going to call him. Got him? <laughs> Tubby. Thinks he can forge a retired state worker's name, forge a, uh, a case flow coordinator's name, and pretend that she's the one corresponding with me. <laughs> While he denies access to public record and obstructs my ability to do, uh, 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 defend myself and my daughter. Obstructs my right to due process. How long ago was this video? Three months ago? Oh, God. This wasn't even that long ago. <laughs> I think this was after his kid got taken away from him. Uh, Tea with Goblin says, Imagine that family court judges and staff are quite often the targets of uh, drongos like this guy. Shitty sovereign citizen parents lose custody of their kids and decide that some poor clerk is responsible for, quote, destroying their family. Yeah, a lot of bad parents get involved with the sovereign citizen stuff. Sometimes it's a chicken or the egg thing, which came first. But yes, yeah, sovereign citizens have a big problem with getting their kids taken away. Um, and then, of course, they do stuff like this. Doesn't go well. Blackwing Hecate says, does this even rise to the level of ad hom? I, I, you know, I'm going to say yeah, but it's not even good ad hom. Maps and Mimic says, street address includes 69. Nice. Endangering the life of a minor child. Yeah. There's another schlep. Just some random guy <laughs> walking by, insult him too. That makes you look very, very secure. <laughs> yeah. What's this guy's latest video? Mostly, he does a lot of like interviews now with other sovereign citizen types. Um, like this. He does little Zoom calls and talks with other people in this little safe <laughs> safe space where they all, like, feed off each other's nonsense. Um, he doesn't do quite as much auditing anymore, though two weeks ago he has this one. So he is still doing it, just not as often. You know what I could do is I could just put this in my bag and then, uh take it out once I get past the, the guards. I think I'll do that, too. <laughs> I think I'll do that if they keep me waiting here much longer. Uh, innocuous Blonde says, Stuff like this makes me glad my dad is retired from working at Social Security. That job was stressful enough without this new flavor of jackassery. Yeah. I'm getting sick and tired of waiting. He's not wearing the MAGA hat this time, by the way. It looks like he's wearing some kind of flat cap in the reflection. Maybe I could call the police and have the marshal charged with assault. How about that? Good luck. I wonder what happened to Wanzik. Did he lose his job or did he get transferred to another uh, station where he violates his people's rights there? You know? No one knows. How long has he been waiting? 15 minutes. I assume he's pretty low on the priority list for the cops. Look at this brown noser. Again, just some random guy in a suit in the courthouse might be a lawyer, might just be someone else who works there. Let's just insult him for no reason. Look at him. Look at this guy in a suit in a building. Oh. So the police are on their way. Connecticut State Police are on their way. Does he expect someone to respond to him? He's probably talking to chat. This was a live stream. Like, the chat replay, I think, is down here. You can see the chat replay. So there are people talking to him through text. Evidently, the call I made to put them on notice, uh, requesting that they advise these idiots of the law, uh, 
wasn't enough. Oh, it looks like they're all going to get schooled now. What's the matter? Are you guys going to go get schooled? Going to go get educated? Woohoo! I doubt it. Yeah, then you're going to get out of my way. Idiots. <laughs> Looks like something's happening here. Something is happening here. Hopefully the supervisor knows what's going on and uh, makes them aware of what our laws are and uh, allows me to exercise my rights unobstructed because that's the purpose of today's... I need you to leave. I'm sorry? I need you to leave. Oh. Uh, he thought that they were going to come and be like, we're so sorry, sir. No, nope, you're being ejected from the building. Why, why am I you're being recording. asked to leave? Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. Well. Excuse me. Look at this. This is a spot. I'm guessing he's getting arrested. What are you doing? You're recording. You're so doing. what? I'm on public property. It's my right. You're not just reached the building and you're violating I'm violence. waiting for police you're in custody sir ah, he gets arrested put your hand back no I'm waiting put for your the hand back. <laughs> no you don't have any authority over me have you? big ups to the cop or the security guard who happened to get him on the ground on camera that was good I would have been unsatisfying if we didn't see it any law. Arrested on the bingo card? Yes. Yeah, you violated law. <laughs> violated I law. haven't violated. You have violated the law. <laughs> halt! You violated the law. Robert Morley says two bagels were walking down the street, and one of them was assaulted. Eh, okay. <laughs> Bittergren says that was very satisfying. Violated any laws. Did chat respond? Let's see what chat says. <laughs> Chad is saying, uh, like, holy F, WTF, D uh, 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 pigs, WTF, damn, uh, call now. They're probably trying to get the police called on these security guards or sheriffs. I guess I don't know. They might be, a lot of sheriffs work at the courthouse, so they might be sheriffs, deputies. Courtings are not allowed. I'm going to publicly. Yeah, he he deserved that one. Again, I I still think the use of force is generally excessive, but for him, I got to imagine he was not going to go quietly, so you know. You know. <laughs> Did he do a video right after that? I'm actually curious. Let's see. Where was the three? Okay. So there was that one. My false arrest review updates Q&A. Nick says, all that foreplay to lead to an explosive conclusion. Ara, ara. Uh, Mike Taylor, Acura, Amanda, Acura. Oh, God, do you have the wrong mic selected? Jesus. Into the house. Wait, does your mic just sound that bad? Surgery and other charges. Now, Honeywell started. Oh, my God, why does his mic sound that bad? Try to. 32, want to go to federal court? To a great start. We got more round number one and more round number two over here. <laughs> yeah, he sounds that bad the whole time. I'm not watching that just because of the mic quality. Imagine getting arrested on your own stream. Yeah, I'm going to try and avoid that. It doesn't look very fun. <laughs> so that's what uh, Tyrant Slayer's been up to. Fun.